Okay, let's be given a set of four distinct polynomials and find the basis for that set. So we're going to call the set S. We're going to set that equals to four distinct polynomials. The first polynomial is going to be x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 1. That's the first term. The second term is going to be x squared plus 1. The third term is going to be x cubed minus 2x and the last term is going to be 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 3 okay so we're going to find the basis for this set we're going to call it uh, the set w okay the first thing we got to do is treat each polynomial as a vector okay so for that i'm going to call this vector number one it's going to be the second vector it's going to be the third vector and it's going to be the fourth vector and now i'm going to set a linear combination of those vectors set it equals to zero and find the uh, constants that make it zero i do that as follows just following the definition of a linear combination of those vectors i have c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus c3 v3 plus c4 b4 equals to zero okay so let's substitute the values of uh of v so let's write down that again as uh, c1 we open a parenthesis c2 we open a parenthesis c3 just open the parentheses for now. I want to show you what I'm doing so you can follow. And everything is equal to zero. So inside those parentheses, I'm going to put the values um, of V1, V2, V3, V4. So the value of V1 is the first polynomial, which is X cubed plus X squared minus 2X plus 1. The second polynomial is X squared plus 1, and that's the second vector. The third vector or third polynomial is x cubed minus 2x. And lastly, we write down the fourth vector, which is uh, this one, 3x squared minus 4x plus 3. Okay. So now we're going to do basic algebra and factor out the x cubed, I mean the x's. We're going to factor out the x's. We're going to have something like this, x cubed, open parenthesis, plus x squared, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, plus x to the first power, <clears throat> plus, to keep consistency, x to the zero power, which is just one, equals to zero. Okay. So, <clears throat> doing basic algebra, we end up with this uh, C's these equations right here c2 plus 3c4 minus 2c1 minus 2c3 minus 4c4 and down here i'm going to write down the c's that don't have an x okay so now since they're equals to zero, let's make some room. They equals to the zero polynomial. There, that's where we are. Let me just this. Oops. Okay, right there. I want it. Okay. Let me see. Do I start here? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Okay. So we know. Uh, the, that is equal to zero. We're going to equate that equals to zero. So each of the C's is equal to zero. So this C right here, the, this equation is equal to zero. This equation right here is equal to zero. And this equation is equal to zero. So we'll write down uh, a system of four equations and four unknowns. So I'm writing that down. Equals to zero. C1 plus C2 plus C3 3c4 equals 0, 
minus 2c1, minus 2c3, minus 4c4 equals 0, c1 plus c2 plus 3c4 equals 0. I'm going to explain what I'm doing just in case you're not following me right now. So this is a system of four equations and four unknowns. And that system came from, from here. We, these are the coefficients of x cubed. These are the coefficients of, uh, what is it doing? Oops. <laughs> okay. These are the coefficients of uh, x, and these are the coefficients that don't, that, that are constant. Okay. So, we're going to set up a matrix, okay, it's a homogeneous matrix with the coefficients of the C's. And it's just this. Okay. So this is nothing more than um, trying to solve for C. Oh, it's kind of crooked. It's trying to solve for C. Okay, C1, C2, C3, C4, everything is equals to zero. So, <clears throat> this is easy. Uh, you can see that if you multiply this first row times 2, and you add it to the third row, uh, you're going you're gonna to make the third row 0. You can also see that the second row, if it is subtracted from the fourth row, is going to make the fourth row 0, if we put there the, the result. You know, because because the second row and the fourth row are the same, so if we subtract, we're gonna get zero. So let me scroll down. Let me make some room and write down what I mean. Let me see if I can do that here. <clears throat> there. Okay. So. I'm going to perform elementary row operations on the homogeneous matrix and I'm going to end up with the matrix in row actual form. So this is what I get. Two, one, zero, zero. Okay. So, like I said before, if you, if you subtract this row from this row, you get this row of zeros. And uh, likewise, uh, if you multiply this times 2 and add it to this third row, we get a row of zeros. And so we have that the leading one is this one in the first row, first column. And this is the second leading one. And so that represents, this is represents the first vector. And this represents the second vector. And what that means is that the first and second vector only are linearly independent. And um, we can um, write down this over here. Let me see. Okay. We can write down that this is the basis of S. This is the first vector, which is x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 1, and the second vector, which is x squared plus 1. And... Um, so that has dimension, uh, 
I'm sorry, but I'm in the wrong place. <clears throat> Still getting used to this. So this got dimension two because it has two vectors in it. And at this um, at this point, this video is finished.